Leaving out the animation in your title card doesn't make me forget what you put me through with that f***ing Smurf movie, Sony. 52 seconds of three logos, and I'm already angrier than any of these goddamn birds, I'll tell you that. Also, this movie is based on a Castle Crush rip-off mobile app. And just for that reason alone, I'm going to tack 12 reality sins on this bitch. Birds apparently can't fly in this movie, though the movie has zero interest in explaining that shit. This bird f dude hits all the trees, but still somehow avoids breaking the egg. Wait a goddamn second. Red coughed up the egg after he hit that tree, and it launched at top speed like a f***ing missile into the jungle. But somehow Red's able to run that f***er down and be in position to catch it? I'm not asking for hyper-realism in my animation, Sony, but give me something. Also, Bird falls faster than the egg he's chasing, which started falling before him, thereby f***ing with my understanding of gravity and that one scene in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Beak! Wing! Tail! Ribs! Giblets! That's right, kids. Movie will invent a way for birds to have external testicles and to injure them for your entertainment. <sighs> this is gonna be a bloodbath, isn't it? Hi, pal! You must be so disappointed in yourself! Hannibal Burris's actual remarks to Jason Sudeikis somehow make it into the movie. Okay, I'll buy these birds have found a way to live in a comfortable, somewhat metropolitan environment, but which one of them had the manual dexterity to lash this clock together and place the gears and the hands and the f***ing cuckoo? Did they just order it on Amazon? Also, this red bird's job here in f***ed up Birdland is apparently clown slash cake deliverer, because that's a thing. Don't tell me a story. Just take responsibility. It wasn't a story. I almost drowned. The water part of this whole caper is arguably the least dangerous thing that happened to Red during his journey. This cake is on you! The movie jarringly goes into Suicide Squad and graphics for its opening title, and forces me to briefly consider if I'd rather be watching Suicide Squad. As terrible as this is, the answer's still no, but it's close. I run my butt off, literally, mind you, to get the gluten-free cake. The movie inspires a harshly worded blog post from Gwyneth Paltrow. Huh. That is not how physics works. Congratulations! Huh? Oh. It's a boy! You know, if this movie were about humans instead of birds, he'd have to have fallen headfirst into a woman's vagina for this joke to work. Mm. Oh. Phew. At least the movie made an effort to get some fresh music for the soundtrack. Even the fucking Smurfs movie featured Vampire Weekend. The movie has mime birds because it's super funny and you just didn't realize it. Eyebrows! The fuck is going on here? Is he in school? And if so, why is he hireable as a clown? Why is he painting? Why was there a mime hanging out a second ago? Where the fuck is this village? This is the one time I'd welcome a little fucking narration. Oh man, they dragged poor Sean Penn into- uh, You know what? Fuck it. Sean Penn's been in much worse movies than this. How unsolid is this home's foundation if a fucking soccer ball kicked by the Vern Troyer of birds shakes the entire house? So the red guy is an asshole. Got it. Already had it after he smashed the late cake delivery into the customer's face, but still, got it. As this bird wipes the literal snot off his face from the other bird's sneeze, I'm left to wonder how this non-DreamWorks movie got so much Shrek in it. Also, this movie is trying to show me how angry this red bird is, but in this instance, I mean, that bird sneezed directly on his popcorn three times in a row. I think his anger is justified here, and therefore nullified as an example of his anger being over the top. Also, how boxed in here were this film's four writers with a title like Angry Birds? I mean, they almost had no choice, right? Oh yeah, Red's an orphan, by the way. Here's one out-of-context scene to show you that little tidbit. We laugh, <laughs> we love, and we live our lives free from conflict and strife, sir. Then why do you have this court? Also, the judge is just one I say I say away from being Foghorn Leghorn. And what do you do when you find a weed? Smoke it? Anger management class. So this is a bird animated anger management? Funny sight gag, but why is the late riser worm store ever open at all? And considering he's right next to the early bird worm shop, he's really gotta rethink his business strategy. Seriously? I'm almost there. But Red could literally walk to the sidewalk and continue along his way. In fact, he's off the street in the very next shot, but this movie has never met a vapid joke it didn't run into the f***ing ground. Is one of those yours? When birds fly. But they're reading about a bird that can fly right now. I know none of the other ones on Bird Island can't, but this seems like an odd thing to say when looking at the picture of Mighty Eagle. And I'm just super psyched <laughs> to be taking this journey with you! Starring Jason Sudeikis, Josh Gad, Danny McBride, Maya Rudolph, Bill Hader, Peter Dinklage, Sean Penn, Keegan-Michael Key, Kate McKinnon, Tony Hale, Hannibal Burris. this movie is definitive proof that likable famous people still have the price. Drinks on me, guys! Scene shows us all of the free of an X-Men Quicksilver scene with none of the technical prowess. Also, this tells me Chuck stole the officer's wallet without him noticing. Fine. But then Chuck went to the bar, finished at least one drink, then paid for the tab, then came back without the officer ever looking up. Bullshit. I literally blow up, okay? I explode like a bomb. How the hell does Bomb do this more than once? Are his feathers laced with gunpowder? Why doesn't the rest of his body explode? Do it! No can do. I just went boom boom before class. Here's another poop joke, courtesy of writers who can't be funny without bodily functions, and might not even be able to be funny with them. Bomb? So this is just gonna be a thing, huh? 
bomb goes off and no one in the vicinity is injured? Well then, I will respond by adding 10 sins, because this movie can kiss my ass. There's a new happiness exhibit at the Museum of Happiness! That I'm dying to see. Angry Bird briefly forgets to bird angrily. This bird economy is freaking me out. They have a robust enough economy that people can afford to spend enough on hugs to keep a hug trader in business? Every time Red thinks someone is waving at him that is not, they're always waving at the same purple haired Brad Pitt type bird. How close can you build a home to the ocean without ever having to worry about tides and Say bye to daddy! Bye! Avian Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Okay, regurgitating into school lunch bags is maybe the best gag this movie has to offer, even though it's a puke joke. My real problem is that's literally the funniest thing in this movie, and yet they still made an entire movie. Seriously, this is one of the least funny animated films I've seen since Princess Mononoke. If my name were Bobby. Calling bullshit on the reconstruction of this therapy hut one night after Bomb blew it to smithereens. My poem is about a hate crime. In an extremely meta moment, Chuck writes about the movie he's currently in. None of the birds are frightened or skeptical about the arriving boat. They're all just in awe. That house took me five years to build! Five years? I realize you were working alone because nobody likes you, but still, that's a small and simple house. And you should have been able to finish that sh in a year flat. Honestly, when they pitched this movie, everyone in the room snickered, right? Pigs on a boat invade an island of birds who can't fly, only then... <laughs> right? Also, hour and a half movie about bird pig video game waits 30 minutes before even attempting to pig. 30 seconds after first contact, these birds are welcoming as f And I'm gonna guess the entire movie's plot hinges on the pigs taking advantage of that unreasonable kindness. How the f did the pig set up this explosion? I know the birds were being too friendly to strangers, but they didn't all go blind for the last hour, did they? How did no one see this being set up? Hey, look, they destroyed more of the stuff we worked hard to build. Red would be excellent at cinema sins. I realize I'm watching a cartoon, but f your giant heretofore unnoticed present, pig. Who says birds don't fly? Um, this movie and basically no one else. This frame of the film's got puns, y'all. How many new species does this bird island meet? They meet some pigs and within hours they're jamming to a house party being DJ'd by the pigs. Does this culture not have suspicion and anxiety? This f***er gets a couple plungers placed where human nipples would be and instantly goes into a cabaret dance. That's a sin on the movie for being a f***ing perv and another sin on the movie for this pig knowing what human boobs are. Just some between the overused Black Sabbath song, the truly offensive Limp Biscuit cover, and the unnecessary Blake Shelton track, Angry Birds just completed the song turd trifecta. As we're clearly looking at the next day or even later in the week, you gotta admire these pigs' prestige level of dedication to the bit, considering it's a foregone conclusion they'll turn and attack this place soon. Pigs invade the buffet and leave Red with only an apple, the symbol of assholeness. And yes, he's an asshole. But like Mel Gibson in Payback, he's an asshole who was right, dammit. Magic Pork XXL. Instaham! Terrible pig Instagram pun aside, this movie is half over, and there's been basically zero conflict. This is what happens when you base a movie on a paper-thin mobile app, FYI. You look delicious, my dear. Fetus flirting. Desperate for a gag, movie decides that Red painted half a dozen paintings depicting pigs in a negative light in this one painting class, which I guess is 16 hours long or something? Look, I'm pretty ashamed at what I'm about to say, I won't lie, but someone still needs to say it. If the pigs are this shit sailing, they could never have even built one ship that was capable of reaching Bird Island, because they are f***ing morons. This is like the pig sailing version of that monkey typewriters thing. Okay, he's going to go recruit all the birds we know from the game to go on the offensive attack against the evil pigs. Great, why did it take 42 minutes to get here in an hour and 37 minute movie? That's like more than half the actual movie, and we're still just kind of f***ing around here. Great, the movie is bloating the runtime by having these well-intentioned heroes also be stupid, so as to find themselves inside the TNT boxes without realizing it. The last two minutes of this movie has seriously been the three leads making ridiculous noises while climbing the wrong mountain and then seriously fast-forwarding through a goddamn suicide attempt. Just trust me, you don't need to watch. <sighs> Why the sh is Chuck even tired? He's been shown to have amazingly fast abilities and has zipped all over the island, but climbing this mountain at the same pace as the other two is somehow exhausting. This is what Mama talked about! I know everyone's content down in the town, but you're telling me not one of these birds has ever been up here. There haven't been any adventurous birds until now. Red could have been doing this years ago instead of clowning and cake delivering. And now synchronized swimming, because this movie is seriously running out of ways to stretch time to fill a feature. These birds trade spit like they're Sasha Gray on a porn set, and I'm just as disgusted here as I was there. Wait, wait, I never porn anything did. God damn it, this movie is already pretty far down in the toilet in terms of humor, but this is too far, and I expect crimes against creativity charges to be filed. Also, okay, movie has already cut to the disgusted birds too many times, but the real sin here is that this eagle has the bladder storage of a large cow. Help. <clears throat> Not so much the Lake of Wisdom, it's more like the Lake of Wiz. Joke literally wrote itself when the screenwriters went to Benihana's for lunch. In the last five minutes, Mighty Eagle has gone from a fairy tale to real to a beer gut Kevin James type animal. And even though this part of the story is racing, I'll remind you, the main movie is taking forever. Why doesn't he have any visitors or interact with anyone on Bird Island? 
It took Red and his crew less than a day to get to this mountain. The eagle brings them into his home and then starts retro dancing, and Red says, What? And I'm like, what is it? Is this Daft Punk pun sanctioned? Because I think it's not. Additionally, it's not funny, so there's that. The crosswalk Nazi wouldn't even let Red slowly amble down the street earlier, but has no problem with all these vehicles mad maxing all around the old lady now. Why do all this movie's trees have scales for bark? Don't believe me? Go check. This ridiculous 360 shot of explosions and shenanigans is so confusing it might as well be in an Avengers movie. Gotta get more speed! It's check time! How far out in the goddamn forest was this party set? Earlier it was being built right next to the middle of town, but now it takes Chuck f***ing forever to get there. I know pigs were using the party as subterfuge to be able to steal the eggs, but that's a massive amount. Were there no expectant moms that were staying at home to guard them? The pigs were somehow able to not only get the first ship back into the water after it ran aground, but also to make the second ship completely disappear. Use the trampolines! What f***ing trampol- There are f***ing trampolines along the dock, that f***ing- Thanks for your hospitality! Here's Leonard's plan in a nut <clears throat> eggshell. He wants the eggs because they're delicious, and since they're unborn bird fetuses, he knows he can't just come in and ask the townsfolk for them. So he spends several days and a huge expense to build these contraptions while the inhabitants stage a party, then steal the eggs. Why not grab them while everyone's sleeping? Or just do the party on the first night? Also, how do the pigs know how delicious the eggs are? They clearly haven't been to Bird Island in at least a generation or two, since no one knows who they are. Are there other Bird Islands out there that haven't made contact with this one? Is this movie just a metaphor for mankind's desire to find extraterrestrial life? And the anxiety about a malevolent alien race finding us first? No, no, it's still a f***ing stupid movie about a phone app. Okay, it's light out now, but the pigs left while it was still dark, which means the birds continued to party, even as Chuck was warning them. Their city burned to the ground, and their unborn children were stolen. Mr. Red! What do we do now? What exactly has Red done to become the hero? He's consistently been a dickwad, and while he was right about the pigs, he's done nothing to actually help. They stole your kids. I mean, who does that? Morgan Freeman? We're birds! We're descended from dinosaurs! How the shit does Red know this? The only thing they teach in school is the legend of Mighty Eagle, and they didn't even know there were other places than Bird Island. I need some angry flocking birds. Roll flocking credits. This thing has sails and a rudder, but is otherwise the least seafaring vessel I've ever laid eyes on. And it's full of TNT. This is a death ship. I'm on top. I'm convinced the movie budget had 50% going to animation, 40% for the rights to the songs, 10% carved out for casting, and negative 7,500% allocated to the screenplay. Take that, porkers! <laughs> Characters are given special powers just in time to rescue some bullshit from some fuckery. Seriously, wouldn't you rather just be playing this game instead of watching this? Leonard's binoculars have a built-in zoom and enhance cliche. So these birds are dead, right? Even in the game, the birds just disappear after they destroy all the shit. So Red's essentially leading the entire town into a casual kamikaze mission. Wow, that blows. Die in a good way. It's hard to pinpoint just how drunk the screenwriters got after receiving their advance check for this movie, but I'd estimate between 15 beers and 12 bottles of tequila drunk. This apparently former Super Eagle gets motivated by rickrolling the audience, and if you didn't have a reason before to give this movie the finger, you do now. <laughs> Transport the eggs! And instantly there is an army with all the eggs in their hands. Fast Yellow Bird goes through a room of unexplained cacti, followed by a room where he hits the tips of a bunch of pig swords. And I'm torn between sending the hilariously torturous trajectory and sending this pig village for having such a f***ed up society that they have an entire room full of pigs holding swords up in the air right next to a room full of cacti. Call in the piggy air force! They have a f***ing air force on standby? How much of their town were they prepared to lose before unleashing these assholes? Treacherous birds have repaid our friendship with an unprovoked act of aggression. Revisionist history at its finest, folks. These f***ing asshead pigs stole all the eggs from Bird Island and now act as though the bird attack is unprovoked. Jesus, I hate these f***ing pigs. Movie will simply not stop f***ing around with other properties. Jesus, if they were going into this territory, just show the dude getting blown by the furry. This entire pig society has somehow evolved to demand eggs. How did that happen? How did they ever develop the taste for eggs without a steady supply of them? Didn't this nightmare ever end? No joke, during the second Quicksilver ripoff scene, I rolled my eyes so hard that I heard something pop. Boil him too! Wait, they're going to boil all these eggs? They're not gonna scramble any or poach any or fry any sunny side up? Just boil them all? I don't think folks that would do this truly deserve these eggs. You just don't know when to stop, do ya? Leonard says what everyone above the age of seven just said to this movie. Farting the enemy away. <laughs> well, now I bet he feels like an ass for holding a lit candle in a room full of TNT. You have annoyed me for the last time. Yep. Giving one last giant finger to the audience, movie decides to crystal skull its way out of the danger. This is way fewer eggs than what the pigs took, suggesting the king popped a couple on the way back to his island and making this movie much more satisfyingly gruesome. Hey, you can't save the island without breaking a few eggs, right? Wait, what? The copper pot's all the way over f***ing there? 
If you're gonna do a nuke the fridge ripoff, you have to stay in the nuke fridge. They are this far away, but a f***ing baby spots ant-sized red climbing out of the rubble a la Deadpool. F*** you. F***ing f*** your f***ing f***. God damn it, this movie makes me angry. You learned your lessons well. Hope you live to tell the secrets you have learned. Until then, it will burn inside of you. These assholes still haven't learned the lesson about respecting TNT, even after that whole pig explosion. And the hug bird finally gets to climax, which seems like a fitting end to this movie that feels like it was directed by Satan himself. All these things in Would a row, you so. look at that? What the? They've been back long enough to start rebuilding the town, erect a new statue of Mighty Eagle, and open businesses, but somehow built the entirety of Red's house without him noticing? Well, I'm glad this thing finally f***ing ended. This piece of shit, lazy ass f toy of a movie has almost 10 full minutes of credits. That's unacceptable. Ever since CinemaSins began, the most requested thing has been TV Sins. And now it's a reality. <gasps> Click the link in the description below to check it out. And now, the audio outtakes. Beak, wing, tail, ribs, giblets. At least you're out of the tree. I'm Zangief, I'm bad guy. I'm Zangief. Why am I peeing like I was up all night having sex? Strong, strong backs. Good. Excellent. Remember, this is not a competition, although you two seem to be the best in the class. Celebration! Put her there. Well, I can't believe I fell for Muppet Man! Dude, I think he's doing the dice thing too much. That's really all he's got. Nobility in poverty. I have been a rich man, and I have been a poor man, and I choose rich every time. Hope you like it, neighbor. We didn't have the best tools or all the know-how. But we did have a wheelbarrow full of love. And a cement mixer full of hope and some cement. Uh. Don't spit in his mouth. No, don't spit it back! Uh. Don't swallow it. <laughs>